uh, uh, mismatch situations for John, and he's trying to drive and get in the lane and find open guys, and we hit shots. You know, when you get open shots and uh, and make them. But the the difference in the game was our defense. Uh, we. First half is probably the best defense we played. I, I can't remember when. Uh, Tyler came and blocked three or four shots. Uh, we were covering, getting, staying in front of people. Uh, didn't give them really any easy looks. And, and you can tell the difference in the second half. Uh, you know, the same team that was 0 for 7 is 6 for 12 because we didn't have the same coverage. And some of them were rebound throwouts, which are hard to defend. But, uh, you know, I thought. The key, uh, just being patient, spreading them out, uh, trying to take advantage of Tyler lighting down low against the guards when he got a mismatch. and uh, But really the defense in the first half. And then our ball movement, when they went to the zone, we got great ball movement. We got Tyus uh, and Andrew wide open. And uh, you know John was uh, really, really good. His floor game uh, was just about as good as you could get, uh, making plays. and controlling the game. I thought he just was great. The, the, the big reason he's in, one of the big reasons in the game with, that when they don't come up on him, he can make a three. And that's, that was, I thought, a huge difference in the game today uh, that he got those shots and he can make those shots. Those are shots he can make. But again, it was a really good effort. Uh, Pittsburgh's a tremendous offensive team. I think one of the best offensive teams in the country. And they showed that in the second half. Uh, first half, uh, our defense was the difference. You know, questions. What about Tyler's influence on the game, Roberson? Is it back on the game today? You know, he didn't score in the first half, and he was probably, you know, one of the key guys. He made three or four blocks. He got six rebounds. Uh, I thought he, he slowed down a little bit in the second half. I didn't think he was as aggressive and, and uh, as he was in the first half. But he was, he again, those five guys are, are playing well together, and it's hard to go away from. Pittsburgh's only playing five guys, so when you get in those games, you know we're going to play our five against their five. And, you know, Torian did okay when he came in. Um, his offense is really good. We just got to get. He's got to get better on the defensive end. What's been the difference in John Gillen's last two games? You know, it, it's. Uh, it's just getting used to it, getting used to the system, getting used to the players. That takes time. And knowing he's going to be in the game. I told him before, a long time ago, he was going to play eight, ten minutes straight, not get taken out. But he never, never really relaxed in that situation. And uh, But I think being familiar with the system and knowing he's going to be in there, his confidence, uh, his level is up. For some players like Dylan, does it make a difference that he's starting, even though it doesn't really, you know, players and coaches will say it doesn't matter who starts. Anything. Well, you gotta you got to know that you're going to play, and they've known that since the first day, that they were going to be out there and we're going to leave them in there, mistake or not. And I, a couple of the early games, I'll sometimes take a guy out for a mistake when we're, win we're going to win by 20 anyway. But uh, once we get into real games, the tough games, we're going to leave them out there and give them seven, eight minutes. The, the guards just never played well in that situation. The uh, defensive play in the first half, is that a result of them just being more active? In the I think we changed a couple things in our defense, but it's, it's, it's just being active. We changed a couple things, and they're working better, getting more comfortable with it. I think you know they left him open over there in the second half. He didn't get many shots. He's you know he's got to be a little more aggressive when he gets his opportunities. But I thought uh, you know when he gets his looks over there, he's 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 shot the ball very well all year. He's playing better on defense too. His defense better. He still can get a lot better. It's just going to take time. Coach, uh, back to back lead wins. Now is his team back on track? Well, we, you know, it's two games. We got a long way to go. Long way to go. Coach, at the beginning of the season, is this a team that you envisioned? Well, we certainly are better than the ones I've seen a few weeks ago, but we've, we've still got to get a lot better. Yeah, a lot better. Also, one quick thing when you go to the Final Four, you can lose 20 games, it doesn't matter. Those are just numbers that you put in the paper that don't mean anything. Mike Waters wrote a pretty reasonable article that you should read because he explained what's happened. 
Now, I don't agree with everything, Mike, but you made some good points. But when you go to the Final Four, last year was the fifth best year I've ever had here, ever. 40 years, the fifth best year that I've had here. If you just count wins, all that, was stated, that means nothing. All that was stated is you lost the game. All that was stated. The, no, the, the, no, here's what was stated. Here's what was stated. Bad three years. Anybody that read that said that. Because I never read the blogs. I did because I want to see what people, and everybody said the same thing. You're putting numbers up and saying it's a bad three years because we didn't, we, I, this is what you did. These are numbers. They're, they're numbers that don't mean, they don't mean. Last year, we lost 14 games. One of the five best years we've ever had since I've been coaching here. Because all that matters, and you know this, is what you do in the NCAA tournament. That's all that matters. Just ask Pittsburgh or Virginia, who won 30 games last year, if they would have our year. What I'm saying is, last year was a great year. The year before that, we weren't eligible for the tournament. So how many losses doesn't really matter. And I believe if we'd have been eligible, we would have won a game or two, and we would have gotten the tournament because we'd beaten Notre Dame and Louisville just like we got in the tournament last year because, why? Because we beat Texas A&M and Connecticut. So I believe we would have gotten in both years. And this year certainly could be a bad year, but it isn't over yet. But when you just put numbers up, sometimes numbers are right. In other words, if we didn't get in the tournament last year, then you'd be right. You'd be 100% right, and I hate to say that. But you would be right in that we've had two years where we didn't win games and we didn't get in the tournament, but I believe we would have been in both years if we hadn't taken ourselves out because I think we would have won another game. And last year was one of the, well, it, to me it's the best year we've ever had, I think, except for the championship because that team, and, and I don't want to ever have anybody suggest that we were lucky. We were lucky last year. Dayton won the Atlantic 10. We crushed them. Michigan State's really good, and Middle Tennessee crushed them the whole game. And we crushed them. Gonzaga, Seton Hall beat Villanova in the Big East Championship game. Villanova happened to win the national championship last year. Gonzaga beat them by 30. And we beat them. Virginia had beaten us every time we played that I can remember anyway. And we were down 16 points. They have never lost a game when they've had a 16 point lead. And we won that game. That's not luck. There's nothing lucky about any of that. Nothing. That's Are being you good. I, call that luck? I didn't say you did. Huh? I've seen it. I, I, if I said you, I'd say you. I'd say you. I'm suggesting that you took a numbers game and the numbers don't apply anymore. Let me ask you any question, but I never I ever say you couldn't ask questions. You don't have to ask that. So you're saying and this is sorry, everybody, this is no, this is fine. This is a press conference. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> so the last three years. I like it when you come because usually you don't come, so I don't have anybody to talk to. <laughs> the last three years. I'm writing about some track runner or something. I don't know. Really the last three years. Counting this year? Yeah, well, let's three, take four years. Let's, three let's take four years. Let's take it from Ennis's shot. When you're well, let's take four years. Well, all right. Two final fours. Let's take 42 years. No, two well, years. that's good, but let's take four years. Two final fours. Who, who else has gone to two final fours in four years? I don't know. If you're yes, you do. It was in the, it's in your paper. Read your paper. Two, only four teams. The last three calendar years. This year, you count? Yeah, oh, okay. calendar years, from March or February, whatever, to January. So you're gonna, you don't want me to count the 19 straight we won before? No. Okay. Listen, I cited the five years before as being the golden years. No, we okay. actually had some better years. And we also have had two-year periods that have been worse than the last two. Well, here's, here's the right, Mike? I guess not. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> You don't know? I figured out about this is entertainment. People pay to watch this. You understand that? <laughs> Do you understand that? People actually subscribe so they can watch this. And I get critiqued on my performance here. 
And this is a good one because I'm happy for a change, and the next one I might not be happy. So, yes, Bud, your question. question. The last three years versus the five before them. You're saying that these last three years are better than the five preceding them? I did not say that. I said last year was one of the five best years we've ever had. All right? So, so you, that's better than when you were at, what, 34 and 3 or whatever? If we didn't go to the Final Four, yes. The only thing that matters in college basketball is going to the Final Four. If that's the barometer, I stand. If, if we can lose 12 games every year and go to the Final Four every year, I'll take it. I'd rather do that than win 30 and not go to the Final Four. Final Four is what we play for. That's what we're trying to do. That's what's important. And, you know, we've had some great teams regular season teams that didn't get there for whatever reason, a couple times injuries, a couple times we got upset, um, and uh, those are disappointments. But what I'm trying to, the only point I'm trying to make is we had a great year last year, so you can't string together that we've had three calendar years or two and a half calendar years, and it's wrong. I think it's wrong because it doesn't indicate what happened. We went to the Final Four. That negates all the losses that year. The year before, we couldn't get into the tournament because we took ourselves out. And this year is still a long way to go. And nobody knows what's going to happen this year. I certainly don't. And uh, we've got a tremendous amount of work to do. I didn't even, I'm sure not too many people picked us to win today. I would seriously doubt it after losing five straight games but to them. But, uh, you know, but I, I, that's the only point. I'm not upset. I'm just, it's just a point I'm making. And I do think that Mike hit on some really good points and what, what his article was. I hate to say that, too. You know that. Mike. I said it twice. 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 I'm not up here to compliment you. you know, you're not up down there to write complimentary things about me either. You write what you write, and I say what I say. But you know, we've got a long ways to go, um, and uh, you know, a lot of work to do. Um, and we, we've got to get a lot better. I think somehow we've got to get. You know, obviously, Torian playing a little bit better on the defensive end. We got to get Frank back involved, and uh, and, and hopefully day one at some point. His knees have been good, but it, it, some games they're bad, some games they're not, and it's just it's hard to know. And uh, you know, he he wants to play, but I can only go by what I see. But uh, you know, we we have a, a lot of work to do, and. Uh, there's, there's, fortunately, there's a lot of tough games in this league that you can get a chance to win if you play well. And if we play well, we'll have a chance. But I mean, we, we, these two games were, were very solid games. Those are two good teams. They're going to win a lot of games, you know. Um, and uh, we have, to, but we have to get better. We have to get a lot better. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>